The year was 1954, when Cokes cost a nickel, gas went for 29 cents a gallon, and a comfortable home cost around $15,000. In January of that year, a praying group of Christians was convinced that God was inspiring a vision to establish a Baptist church in their growing area of town. On April 6, 1954, their vision became a reality in the founding of the Southside Baptist Mission, located at 5412 Skidaway Road. The facility soon became crowded and an education building was added. The membership grew 243% during the first three years of existence, and overcrowding reached serious levels by mid-1956. Later that year, groundbreaking ceremonies took place for a new and permanent facility, along with a second unit which was added in 1959. Growth continued, and two mission churches grew out of our membership, the Windsor Forest Baptist Church in 1959 and the Wilmington Island Baptist Church in 1960. Just one decade later, overcrowding once again became a problem, and in 1974, God inspired a vision that resulted in yet another groundbreaking ceremony, this time to build our present sanctuary. In 1989, our Together We Build campaign was implemented to expand our physical plant. Since then, we have enjoyed one of the most beautiful and complete worship and learning facilities anywhere. Our past is filled with challenging moments of vision, followed by obedience and sacrifice by those who have been willing to share their gifts with those who had come after them. And that is who we are. Today, we celebrate our tradition of vision, a consistent commitment to join God in what He is doing, rather than let someone else do it. And now it's time once again to follow the vision God has inspired and join Him in expanding the tent. The tent is our facility, a living testimony to the commitment and obedience of those who have come before us. Our tent is not intended to be a monument to the sacrifices of the past, but instead a living testimony to the vibrant ministries that make up the life and the body of Christ at Southside Baptist Church today. Because of that busy and growing life, as large as it once seemed, our tent is being stretched. Some Sunday school classes are meeting in rooms that are either not large enough or not designed to serve as a classroom at all. And when the need arises to divide and grow with new classes, there simply is not room to do so. God sees the need and has given us His vision for a new facility that will house ministries that are needed today and new ministries that we'll discover as we obediently join God in what He is doing in the future. Specifically, we plan to build a family life and community outreach center that is designed to be unique and exciting, as well as eye-catching and inviting. The facility will provide space for banquets, family movie nights, and other large gatherings. Encircling the open area will be a walking track to give people a secure and weatherproof place to exercise, while a playscape area will provide exercise for young children. Young people of all ages will benefit from a game room that will include pool tables, foosball, air hockey, and other relationship building games. There will be space for 12 classrooms, as well as an assembly area for praise and worship. And the centerpiece of it all is a gym floor, which includes a full basketball court with two practice cross courts. Plans for this area include the Upward Program, where young people build character through healthy competition and hear the gospel during breaks in the action. One of the things that I do are the Bible study and activity groups for St. Mary's Home for Children. And it's from 5 to 18 year olds. And I know you need big open spaces to do the kind of programs and the kind of activities that hold the children's interest. And it's just one thing that we don't have here at Southside right now. That's right. You know, right now we're doing them in the fellowship hall, in the parking lot. When we have the activity building, it's going to be great. Their boys are going to be able to play in an area that's conducive for what they're actually going to need to do. Right. The community center will be very helpful um, just in the size that it will be. Right now we have um, a very small area for our college and singles department and if we were to grow or to um, gain up then there wouldn't be enough room for all of us to be in there and, and, and too like if we had, were to have a concert or something you know that'd be a nice area to have it in as well you know for a large number. And we haven't even touched schools like SCAD and Savannah Tech and Savannah State and South College. So with that, we're just going to even grow even more. A lot of our students may go home to um, empty homes. And so they will be able to come here and have very healthy activities for them. 
And so that's why I'm excited about it. I think we have a good reputation in the community for uh, involving youth in all aspects of the ministry. And our youth really are energized and they're really doing a great job all over the city. So I think this is going to give them a tool to uh, help further promote what they really like doing, which is sharing the gospel. At our age, that most of us are on fixed income, everything that we have, first of all, belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ. And so it's really not ours to begin with. The church really needs our money, but the main thing that it needs is for us to support this building fund that's going on and to be behind this and be behind our staff. My kids have grown up here in the church. My grandkids are now very active here in the church. And, and in the near future, maybe some great grandkids will be involved. And, and uh, I think that this facility will be one that can reach out into the community and uh, bring people in to, to, to find the joy that we find in the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, this facility that we're looking to build is going to be across the board for everybody. Uh, I just see it as a multi-purpose building for all people in the church. Uh, we, just, we just see this as a real positive move for Southside. See, I work with the youth, and I'm up there on Wednesday nights and Sunday mornings, and I see how full uh, our space is. Uh, there's not room for them, and so if we wanted to grow, we simply can't. One of the distinguishing characteristics of Southside Baptist Church are the multi-generational families that we have here. I'm here today with my grandmother and my mother. Uh, in 1966, my parents were married at this church. My sister was married at this church, and my grandfather, his funeral was at this church. The people here are my family. But many people have not had that experience. So it gives me great joy to know that many people soon will as we expand our facilities. And I guess what I want to say as far as we're starting a building here, a new building program, I've been through that every time we built a building except for the original building. And it was a little shack out in the park, what's now the parking lot. And we've been through the things and the discussions and, and the doubts that we have as Christians when we start to do something. But we've just got to remember that God has held us by the hand every time we've done it. Well, our youth group has gotten really big and we really need more room for ministry areas because if we invite friends over and they want to come just to hang out or something up in the youth room, we don't really have a lot of room to play a lot of games or do anything like that for ministry reasons. Um, there's so many people over in Bacon Park and so many people over in uh, Queensbury and across the way in Duran behind, back there that, that don't come. And if we have this Family Life Center, then they'll be attracted to it for the fun and for the games and for activities that we have. But uh, I know for a fact there's no way we would let them leave without teaching them the gospel, and that's the most important thing that they can learn, you know. If we are to expand our tent, we must likewise expand our giving. If each of us does our part, we will all experience the joy of giving sacrificially to God. We are embarking on a three-year campaign to raise approximately $3 million to bring the vision we've been given into reality. If we could not do it, God would not be calling us to this task. But He is calling us, not so much for a specific amount of money. He's calling for obedient hearts from which will flow the financial sacrifices to expand His tent and realize the vision He has for our future. As 2 Corinthians 9.13 says, Men will praise God for the obedience that accompanies your confession of the gospel of Christ and for your generosity in sharing with them and everyone else. Of course, we can't all give equal amounts. But if equal sacrifice is exercised throughout our church family, we'll join our church's legacy of obedience that has honored God for decades. It's a challenging time in the life of the body of Christ here at Southside Baptist Church. Like any church body, we've got challenges and opportunities. But we've been blessed with a good challenge, a lack of space for our expanding church family and the growing list of much needed ministries. The ministries that will be expanded in a new facility and the new ministry opportunities that can be created will pump life into all corners of the world, much like the heart pumps life to all parts of our body. Of course, to do that, it's necessary to talk about the tangible things like dollars and cents and square feet and landscaping. But who can measure the eternal effects that will be a result of the work that will be carried out within the walls of this new facility? Each of us should give what we've decided in our hearts to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, because we know that God loves a cheerful giver. And I believe they're on our way to realizing the vision that God has given to us. Imagine what it's going to look like in just a short time when this area where nothing stands will be replaced by a beautiful building. 
But more importantly, imagine the number of vibrant ministries that will enable us to perform a powerful combination of God's most basic commands, to love our neighbors as ourselves, and go into all the world and make disciples. Now that work begins here in this new building, as the heartbeat of our church pumps the life-giving message that the blood of Christ our Savior gives life beginning with our neighbors and moving across the whole world. The cost of our new building, of course, is going to be about $3 million. But to bring pleasure to our Heavenly Father by obediently following His leading and building this new facility, it's priceless. What about the lasting effects? Eternal.